We just spent our first night together as man and wife in our new home. And man, it was a lot of fun, if you know what I mean. We both woke up around the same time and decided to get cleaned up. After I finished up, I made us some excellent pancakes. Callie decided to water her garden while I cooked breakfast. Man, were those pancakes tasty. But I was more interested in bantering with Callie. Oh, okay, mostly interested in Callie and not the pancakes. After we ate, Callie went out on the balcony to do some painting, and I went for a morning jog throughout the neighborhood. I'm not sure what the day has in store for us, but I'm thinking about maybe hitting up that fancy karaoke bar over in the fashion district. I also heard that the new gym has a basketball court, and I'm really eager to learn how to play with Callie. But she's more interested in going out to sing than playing the basketball. So we'll see what the day holds. Hey guys, this is your friend Les, and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 City Living with Patrick and Kelly. <laughs> wow, I almost forget her name. Oops, that's just absolutely freaking terrible, isn't it now? Alright, so uh, yeah, Patrick's working on his writing because I was recording him writing before I started recording the episode. So it is Tuesday, 9.30 in the morning, and uh, we're definitely going to go out and about and do some things around the town. I don't know if there's anything going on in town right now. I don't know if there's any festivals popping up. Uh, but you know what? We're going to send Callie down here and we're going to have her look for some snow globes. And, oh, wow. Yep. See, uh, one thing I don't like about these neighborhoods is, yeah, these things. And we're going to send him down here as well and grab a poster because, yep, getting a poster is always fun. Hey, this guy's a lot of fun. He's always, like, doing romantic things very loudly in his apartment. <laughs> at least at least in uh, in my game. So, yep. And we've got another one over here, and I want her to come collect this. And uh, let's see. she got one haunted, haunted mansion snow globe, which is uh, pretty cool. We'll let him grab that poster as well. And, uh, yeah, so there's not a whole lot uh, going on at the moment. What's next? Next, get it? What's next? <laughs> Funny times. Let's see here. Ooh, the Geek Con is in town. Click on any of the dynamic signs around town to find out more. Let's check out this festival info. I've been wanting to go to Geek Con for I don't know how long. Um, I've never been to Geek Con and games, so this is gonna be a first. Uh. This is going to be a first for me, so let's see here. Geek Con, location, the Planet Honey Pop, time Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So there's a hackathon. Do you have what it takes to be the ultimate hacker? Try your skills at the hackathon and hack the world. Uh, let's see, improved skill gain. Being around the world's greatest minds, you are sure to pick up a thing or two. While at Geek Con, you will build skills much faster. Ultimate gaming test. Come take the ultimate gaming test to see if you can get a perfect score. Are you a pro gamer? We will. We will let our test decide that. And then to the stars, explore space without the hassle of building up your own rocket. Just no funny business while you are in space. Oh, oh! I wonder what happens if we do some funny business while we're in space, you know? I am I wonder what would happen. I, I think maybe we should have Patrick and Callie do some funny business up in space. Um, I don't know. I don't want anything. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to uh, we're going to travel. We're going to travel there. I know she's supposed to be going to go collect that snow globe. Uh, but hopefully she'll get that and then we'll be good to go. And he'll get that as well. And we'll be good to go. Come on, get this at the same time, guys. Come on. Come on. Good. Oh, I think we barely just missed it. I don't know. Oh, I, oh there went the music again. Maybe maybe we got both items. We'll have to see. It'll tell us if we did or not. Because uh, if it doesn't tell us, then yeah, obviously we didn't get it. So... Now we just gotta wait for this loading screen. We are heading to the Honey Pop Karaoke venue area, uh, whatever you want to call it, up in the Fashion District, I believe. Is it in the Fashion District that we're heading to? Um, to go have some fun at GeekCon. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty I'm gonna I'm gonna be geeking out myself. I'm like geeking out right now. I'm super like geek sighted. Yes, geek sighted. Yes, a new word brought to you by your friend Les. Alright, so he did. Carefully peeling off a poster, Patrick has recovered. One red hearts, 
White Diamonds. And then uh, from the dusty depths of the free box, Kelly has recovered one Plum Bob Snow Globe. Globe, glob, globe, glob. Uh, limited edition. So yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty freaking awesome. Let's, see. Patrick, did you not want to come, dude? Let's see here. Yeah, get here. Get your butt here, man. All right, we're gonna put these guys into a group. More choices, actions, and a group. And let's take a look at this place. What I mean, what is there all to do? Oh look, we get these awesome posters. We can we can go let's let's go admire these awesome look at these guys in there wait hold on what is this the matrix up in here I mean what the heck man look 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 at that out I want that outfit dang it my sims need that outfit where can I get that outfit is that something that I purchase at one of the festival stalls I don't know but my sims they need it they need it and we got Luigi over here long hair blonde Luigi <laughs> Oh, and I guess we have gaming. Uh, place the Goldie Box gaming call so all closer to an on-paired television. Why are they sitting? I guess they're on display, maybe. So these guys are feeling very, very focused. And this person's building a rocket. Oh, we have a rocket right here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, I totally think I totally think we should have them. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think they should woohoo together here. I don't know. Do you think that would be a bad thing? Let's see who. Let's see here. Let's see who. Let's. let's uh, yeah, we're we're totally doing this. Just, just saying, we're totally doing this. That's an awesome rocket. Let's see. We're just gonna we're just gonna zoom down, and we're gonna wait for these guys to come around. Here they come. They're gonna woohoo in the rocket. There she goes. She's putting on her spacesuit. There it goes. Spacesuit. They're like, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. There they go. There they go. And they're gone right there. <laughs> Woohooing in the rocket and somebody's calling them. I don't know. I don't know who's, uh, yeah. I don't know who's calling them. And I'm surprised nobody's going to go listen. Nobody's going to listen. Listen to the space launch. <laughs> listen to space woohoo. Yeah, I guess nobody's going to go listen. I wouldn't go listen either. Oh, no, okay, yes I would. Depending on who it was, I would probably go listen. <laughs> so then, that way when they get back, I can be like, Ooh, I know what you guys were doing in Zero Gravity. Could you imagine Zero Gravity woohoo? I think that would probably be amazing. Look at these guys playing Blake Block. What's up, dude? I don't even remember what your name is. Alex oh, that's Alexander Goth. When did he age up? And he's an adult, too? Holy crap, when did that happen? When did that happen? Anyways, let's get out of here. And... I wonder... Oh! The Geek Kong Challenge has begun. Head to the computers to test your programming skills in Hackathon. Or use the motion gaming rig to taste your gaming skills in UGT. Yeah, we should definitely taste... Taste... Test our gaming skills. 50 Mile Highland Club, they are back. They are back. Good job, you guys. Good job. All right, let's see here. Let's do the ultimate gaming test. And now that she's back, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody noticed anything. I don't think. We'll send her over here to do the hackathon. Let's see here. Participate in the hackathon. I don't know if she's gonna do well or not. What is this? Buy a bubble blower. We might buy a bubble blower. Just you know, just saying. We may buy a bubble blower. All right, so she's gonna go participate in the hackathon. She. Totally just bought some food. Did not need to buy any food. All right. Come on, Patrick. You can do this, buddy. What is your gaming skill? What is your gaming skill? Where's your gaming skill? Do you not have a gaming skill? Oh, I clicked on the wrong person. Derp. Derp, 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 derp. Yeah, he doesn't have a gaming skill, so yeah. So he probably won't do too well. I don't know. Oh, no! Let's see, let's pause for just a second. Let's pause. Patrick Becker has failed the ultimate gaming test. The minimum total score to pass is 70. <laughs> Here are their scores. Oh, goodness. His total score is 30. Uh, let's see, Refuge score is 6 out of 20. Blick Block score 9 out of 30. Maniac Matchup score 9 out of 30. Sports score 6 out of 20. Oh, goodness. Better luck next time, buddy. Better luck next time. Let's see here. Let's, uh... Hey, there's Aunt Yuki. 
let's get him to participate in the hackathon as well. Maybe one of these two might have some good luck. I don't know. Let's see who who's gonna hack first. Probably Aunt Yuki. I think Aunt Yuki would probably be the one that hacks first. All right, Patrick just acquired the programming skill. Oh, for a second that I, I thought that was Mitzi's uh, job, but it's not. It's uh, Victor Fang. <laughs> All right, how did you do? They're still participating in the hackathon. One of you guys, please win it. Please win it, and she's still in her spacesuit. <laughs> I love that she's still in her spacesuit. I think that is just freaking awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, who's gonna win it? This, I think, Jordan better not wear it. Win it. She looks like she looks serious. Oh, careful over there, Christian. Christian. Never heard of Christian for a girl's name before. Every Christian I've already, I've always known, has been a a guy. But that's okay. Christian works for a girl, too. Kind of like how Ashley works for a guy's name as well. Or Courtney can be a guy's name as well. Let's see. Are you winning? You're a lot further along than your husband over here. And she's... Her, she, her face is right up on the screen. Right up on the screen. I don't know what any of this means. I have no idea what's going on. It's all blurry right there, so... I don't know if she's ahead or if she's behind or what. Uh, she might be ahead. Uh, Yuki, Aunt Yuki, what's wrong, Aunt Yuki? Looks like she's done. So maybe she won. I don't know. We're about to, we're about to find out. But I'm surprised she's not going to talk to us. She's just, she's got a look of disgust on her face. She looks. Peed off. Peed off. All right, let's see here. Hold on. No, you're not going to go order food. You're just going to wait on that. And let me make sure you're not going to go. Okay, he's still doing that. All right. Kelly completed the hackathon with a score of 15%. We will announce the winner at the end of the festival. All winners must be present to receive their prizes. All right, so since he's doing that, we're going to send her over here to the booth, see what we have. Uh, let's see here. We could buy... Uh, Oh, uh, we can't wear... You cannot wear a t-shirt while you are wearing a full belly outfit. Oh, that blows. That blows. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to buy the t-shirt. Let's buy some swag as well. And this chick, she's just back here, is just staring. Just staring. Are you helping, Patrick? Hello. There's Bella Goth. Or Cassandra Goth, excuse me. Thank you for purchasing our, purchasing our unique festival attire. It's a shame that she can't uh, wear any of it. All right, so here we go. We have uh, Emily Snowglobe. Emily has been around for hundreds of years lurking the waters of Windenburg. She emerges every 52 years to greet the citizens of the city, but she usually met with fright, horror, and disgust, so she submerges back to the depths of the sea to build up the courage to face those who may one day accept her presence in the land from over the pond. All right, yeah, so we definitely need one of those. We definitely need some Geek GeekCon bubble, bubble bottles. And let's see, maybe maybe some fireworks. Yeah, we need some fireworks. Uh, let's see, more fireworks. Yes, please. And we'll get two of these, and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get two of those as well. All right, so we are good to go. We just spent 270 bucks, And Patrick just reached programming level two, which is freaking awesome. And let's see here. I want her to go ahead and change her. I, I kind of want to keep. No, she can. She can stay in that outfit. I think what we should do is uh, let's see here. We'll have her come over here and uh, come on. Let's see. Let's see how she does on the ultimate gaming test. Thanks for purchasing the items. Calibot can be found in her inventory. Yes. Thought we already did that, but I guess not. All right, Patrick completed the hackathon with a score of 17%. Oh boy! Well, he did a little bit—he did a little bit better than his uh, wife. And we're gonna send him over here, and he's gonna purchase the—he's—he's uh, he's gonna wear the festival T-shirt that his wife just bought. And so I guess we gotta stick around till the end of the festival to find up. Oh, hello, we're trying to watch her to see, you know, how well she does, to see if anybody wins. All right, so he's gonna switch into that. All right, all right, come here, dude. Come here. 
I want to see your Geek Thon t shirt. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's nice. Uh, I, I like that. It's not bad. But seriously, I want. I want. Where? Come on. Where? Where? Where are they? Where did they go? They're around here somewhere. Or they were. Yeah, I have no idea where they want, but they were wearing those cool kick ass. Th like this, right here. Yes. This is what I want. That's what I need. Skyla, you got to tell us how to get it, please. All right, let's go over here and uh, let's see here. He can play. Let's see here. Let's play an online game. Play Party Frenzy online. Um, oh, you know, what? let's play with mom. Yeah, we'll play with we'll play it with mom. All the way from GeekCon. And there's no special drinks or anything like the Romantic Festival. I guess not. Uh, nope, sorry, we're here to play a game. We're here to play a game. Sorry. Yep. Too bad. Alright, so we just reached video gaming level 3. And let's check on her, see how she's doing. She's not doing too bad, I don't think. She's not doing too bad. <clears throat> well, she did the same as Patrick. <laughs> the exact same thing. Score of a 30. Oh, poor Cal. No, you're not going to go order food. No, darling, you're not going to go order food. Uh, what you can do is, if you want to, you can go back into space, and you can uh, you can explore space. Why not? Let's explore space. All right, the hackathon has come to an end. Uh, let's see here. First prize goes to Jordan. Ah, oh, dang it. I knew Jordan was going to win. They received the immersive pen computer. Second place received 500. We didn't even come in second or third place. That just really, yep, that blows. That blows. Let's see, can we practice? Can we participate in a hackathon again? Nope. Let's see here. Lost in space, Callie is gliding through the galaxy when she notices a constellation she has never seen before. Double checking her coordinates, Callie realizes she is not where she thought at all. What's more, her ship's GPS galactic positioning system has gone black. She is lost in space. Yep, keep calm. Keep calm. And have these guys finished yet? Nope, they haven't finished building that rocket yet. They really need to finish, you know, building that rocket. So we can take that, we can woohoo in that one. Ooh, a treasure map. Trying not to panic, Callie scans the horizon for familiar stars. There, a flashing light. She zooms closer, only to discover a mysterious glass canister with what looks like a message beacon inside. Extracting it, Callie finds a map with an X marked on a planet near the constellation's head. It's almost too good to be trusted. What now? Um, hmm. Lucy? Lucy, what do you think? Should we follow the map or should we keep cruising? Follow the map? Okay, Lucy says follow the map. No, Well, no, she really didn't say follow the map. But <laughs> we're, we'll follow the map. I have a feeling that's not going to be the best of choices. And no, you're not ordering food when you get back, woman. You don't need food. You're not hungry. All right, the tunnel. Sure enough, the map leads Callie to a charred-looking planet with a lone tree growing from a cliff. At first glance, the place seems abandoned, but then she notices the opening to a small tunnel beneath the tree. Go in. Heck yeah, we're going to go in. I mean, we've gone this far, right? We might as well just keep going. No, you're not ordering food when you get back. I know, I'm so mean, ain't I? I am so mean. But anyways, let's go back over here. He's playing uh, an online game with his mom, and Callie acquired the rocket science skill. And so, let's see, Callie's been seen. Callie calls out, no answer. The only sound is a soft dripping. She treads quietly into the tunnel, but suddenly everything goes black. She whirls, flipping on her trusty headlamp. Eyes glow in the narrow beam, not two, but hundreds. Callie can try to talk her way out of this or run like crazy. Um, mm, let's talk to the aliens. Callie always has been a good talker. And no, you're not, Callie, ordering food. Hold on, pause, because I want to read this real quick. Callie always has been a good talker, and lies are easier when they contain a smidgen of truth. Explaining about the broken GPS, she leads the spider-like creat oh, spider creatures oh my gosh, toward a rocket ship. Sure enough, the screen is still black, muttering. An alien technician climbs aboard and slams it three times. Magic. Callie enters her home coordinates and clears out fast. And she reached uh, level two of the rocket skill, so that's cool. So alien repairs have made her focus with a plus two, so that that is pretty awesome. Welcome back, welcome back. 
She has safely returned. And let's have her come over here. Let's see here. Let's buy on apartments, because, you know, why the heck not? <laughs> it's happy hour at the karaoke bar. Everyone enjoys drinks at a discounted price. The festival will end in one hour. Finish up any activities before it closes. Be sure to come back the next time the festival is in town. All right, so, yeah, we're going to spy on the apartments, because why the heck not in this big, goofy telescope? <laughs> and she just acquired the, the mischief skill. I don't know if this is a good thing, us having her spy. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And is he almost done? I think he is uh, almost done. I don't know if he's still playing with mom or not, but looks like he's ah, uh, he's he's really into it. That's for sure. I'll take Yabe. I'm trying to see his face, and I can't see his face. Don't see his face. And uh, let's see here. Feeling flirty. Witnessed apartment action. Heck yeah. Alright, so anyways, let's see. Let's have her. Let's see. Uh, let's, uh, let's make a... Oh, let's make a joke about Pi. Let's see here. Joke about rocket ship woohoo. Argue about GIF pronunciation. Or GIF. I don't know. I've always said GIF. And I think it's GIF. Sometimes I say GIF, but... I believe it's GIF. G-I-F. So, yep, I, I I got it wrong. I was like, how come I can't hear them talk? Why, why are they not talking? Oh, somebody just took off on the rocket. Hey. Hey, let's uh, let's make out while she's in her spacesuit. Let's make out while she's in, a, in her spacesuit. And this thing should be ending uh, soon. I have a feeling we last lost the game-a-thon thingy, whatever that was. Oh, right through the helmet. That's got to be uncomfortable. Right through the helmet. That's really got to be. Uh, too bad none of these guys are kleptomaniacs, because then we could, like, totally jack one of these gaming systems. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Don't have to pay for that. So, the sim that just went up to space, if they're not back by the time the festival is over and everything starts disappearing, I wonder what happens. All right. And so now they got a sitting glitch. And I think after this, we're going to head over to the karaoke bar. He's going to go play a game. She wants to go kiss him. Okay, the rocket came back just in time. So that's probably a good thing. And these guys just reset. So, yep, I guess, yep, everything's disappearing in the festival. The festival is over. So we're going to head. Where's the karaoke bar? It's right over here. So, let's see here. We're going to have them... Let's see here. Oh, Miko singing. We're going to have them watch the karaoke together. Totally sounds like a Journey song. Totally sounds like a Journey song. Just saying. Let's see. Did they make it in? They did. Yeah, they like Miko. Because Miko is pretty freaking awesome. Let's see. Outfits. Change outfit. I was going to say change into the nude because, you know, why the heck not? But I'm no, I'm not going to do that to her. There we go. There we go. All right. So we're going to pause and we're going to get them to sing a duet together. They can do country music. And uh, let's. Uh, uh, hello. We we want her to sing. Hmm. We want them to sing together. Sing duet country. Don't tell me this is doing that crap again. Let's see here. All right. So let's see here. Uh, more choices, actions, uh, disband group, hit play for just a second. Hit pause. All right, let's try this again. Sing duet, country. Oh, good gravy. All right, let's see here. We'll put them back into a group. Let's see more checks, more choices, add a group. And uh, we're going to let her sing. Let's see, sing solo, and she can sing a pop song. We will do fun tonight. <laughs> oh, do you know Miko? And we're going to have Patrick watch watch his wife perform. No, you're not going to go order dinner. All right, how is she doing? She's... Funky camera movements, man. Funky camera movements. Apparently, I had a missed phone call. <laughs> Good thing I had my... My phone on mute. Go Cali. Go Cali. Oh, 
How is is where's Patrick? Is he watching? Uh oh, the police have showed up. <laughs> I hope nobody's in trouble. Oh, more police! What is it? Police night? Yeah, don't talk to Patrick. He hasn't done anything wrong. He hasn't done anything wrong. Not at all. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Hurt eardrums from watching a bad karaoke performance. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, that's okay. You're about to do the same thing. Let's see. You're going to sing uh, Weekender. And, uh, oh, she's a little bit embarrassed. That didn't sound so good. Poor girl. Yeah, you can go order a drink after that, but I totally want you to watch. All right. I'm going to be quiet for just a second. I actually like this song. Oh, Kelly's like, Patrick, you ain't doing too well, buddy. You ain't doing too well, buddy. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody else is not uh, paying attention. Oh, she's like, get off the stage, dude. Get off the stage. This is just absolutely terrible. He's getting a little bit better. She's like, okay, this is getting a little bit better. Oh. Well, let's see if we can get them to to sing together. Let's see here. Sing duet. Country. Uh, dang it. I hate it that it's doing this again. I thought they fixed this where, you know, people that travel in groups to the karaoke bars, like there was a glitch where this would happen where you couldn't choose anybody that you came to the karaoke bar with. And uh, so now, yeah, apparently, I guess it's broken again. Dang it, man. Or maybe they just have to have, you know, uh, a certain skill level. But uh, we'll have them come back. They're both getting a little bit hungry, so we're going to send them. Uh, hopefully one of these thingies are open so they can come get some food. And, yeah, let's see here. Let's order some food. Uh, let's get, uh, let's see. We can do egg rolls. We can do that uh, Mapo Tofu with pork. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. We're going to do some sweet and sour pork. And uh, he can come order as well. Order some food, and let's see here. He's going to get the, uh, no, no, we're not going to do eggplant, because he's going to do sweet and sour pork, too, because, yeah, I yeah, I don't like eggplant. I really don't like eggplant. So both of these guys are going to gonna come order some food. There we go. Hey, we were here first, Izumi. We were here first. That's two plates and one, I do believe. There we go. That, hey, that's some quick service. It's a karaoke contest tonight at the karaoke bar. Sims contested her silky singing skills by selecting the sing and karaoke contest. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, after they eat, after they eat, we'll send them out to, uh, we'll send them out to, uh, play karaoke. Let's see here. So they don't know how to use chopsticks, so they're going to have a little bit of trouble eating. And this lady, she's just standing there. Um, hello, your food looks so good. Oh, she's got fire breath from that spicy food. Yeah, Patrick. Oh, Patrick's not doing good with those chopsticks. <laughs> He's just poke and grab. Just poke and grab, dude. Just poke and grab, man. So we don't know who you are. I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to get out of this. All right, I want to get these guys to participate in the contest as soon as they they finish eating. So we're going to put all of these walls down. He is just, yeah, he is struggling, man. Let's see here. Butterfingers just can't seem to figure these things out. Let's see, is she the same way? Oh, yeah, she's double embarrassed from that. Congratulations! Patrick has taken his first steps on his culinary journey through the city. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. There are 26 more recipes to learn. Get out and try some more food. Alright, so let's see here. I thought there was a karaoke contest going on. I yeah, I do not know. Uh, let's see here. I want you to... 
Uh, no, no, we're not. Nope, we're not. We're not talking to you at all. Let's see here. Go here. All right, we're gonna go there. And I want her to finish eating first. I want her to finish eating. And then we're gonna click. Oh, can we not? Let's see here. Watch karaoke together. She should be done eating. She was going to go order more food, man. What the heck? Oh, Dina. You're actually pretty good, Dina. Dina is actually pretty good. So I guess we missed the karaoke contest. Uh, why can't we click on it? There we go. Sing and karaoke contest. Let's do uh, Hotter Than Sin. Are you... No, don't talk to her. I want you to sing in the karaoke. Let's do Hotter Than Sin. Come on, let's participate. Oh, Miko's trying to take over. Uh, sorry, we were trying to get to this first, Miko. And if you participate, you're going to kick our butt. Alright, so we just reached sinking, singing level 2. And let's see here. She needs to use... And she's like, uh, I need, I need to use the bathroom here. Oh, that thing is crazy. Use, use and watch. Get out of there, Miko. Get out of there. Back to Patrick. Come on, buddy. Smooth melodies. Listening to a great performance. That's the person from before. Oh, he liked it for a minute there. Alright, I think, I think, let's see, we'll have her go here. Because I think we're going to have her sing next. As soon as uh, he finishes, let's see here. Alright, let's see here. Pause. The Pat Patrick scored 51 out of 100 points. The winner will be announced at the end of the contest. Alright, let's see. Singing karaoke contest. Let's see. Shake and not stirred. She can do that. I think that's a. I think that's a jazz song. Oh nope. We gotta. We gotta prevent uh, Mika from singing in this con. In this contest. Let's see here. Or actually, let's do Runda Palomino. Okay. Nope. Are you not gonna do it? All right. Let's try this again. Come on. Oh no 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 no. We had this first. Sorry, Carolina. Escalante. All right, come on, Kelly. Do good for us, please. Well, she just reached singing level two, and I don't think she's doing too well. They're definitely gonna have to get some more practice in, that's for sure. But hopefully one of them wins. And I don't think she's going to make it in time because the contest is now over. Oh, Patrick won. What? The results are in. Patrick Patrick Becker won the contest with an impressive score of 51. Congratulations. Make sure to come back and defend Patrick's title Sunday, Tuesday, or Thursday night at 8 p.m. Way to go, Patrick. And I guess he's going to watch his wife. But then... Is freaking awesome. Good job, Patrick. Good job, Kelly. So, and oh, she poor girl. She only got nine out of one hundred points. I picked a hard song for her that's like not her level at all. Uh, but yep, yeah, she's uh, no. You're not gonna chat with Bridget. Uh, you're gonna compliment your wife's appearance. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did uh, discovering GeekCon and getting these guys to sing karaoke and all that other great stuff. And let me know what your thoughts are on the LP. And I'd especially like to know what you think about the opening with the uh, with the uh, with the diary intro type deal that's going on. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.
Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave comments down below because comments are awesome and I always love interacting with you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but only if you liked what you see. And also, feel free to check out these other great videos from my channel. Remember, be kind to one another and treat those the way you want to be treated. See you guys!